I'm gonna show you the best way to get at the root cause of those dark circles underneath your eyes. It's called periorbital dark circles. Now, typically, when you look this up, you're gonna see a million different remedies, okay? And they do work. The problem is they only work temporarily. You have to keep applying them over and over and over. You can use kojic acid, and uh, you can use uh, vitamin C, aloe vera, niacinamide, which is a type of B3, or you can even use cucumber extract or cucumbers. So any of these will work temporarily. Simply take the remedy and rub it underneath your eyes and give it you know, some days or even weeks. So what do all of these have in common? They inhibit melanin, okay, which causes this pigmentation in your skin. And that's cool that you can do that. Um, there's probably not a lot of side effects, but I wanna talk about the two underlying root causes to this problem. So you can actually permanently get rid of this. Now, the first one involves understanding just a little bit about your hormone system, okay? You have this little gland in the brain called the pituitary, and it sends signals down through the body. And one of the tissues that it controls is the adrenal glands. You have two of them deep into your abdomen, okay? The adrenal glands produce a lot of different hormones, um, but there's one that is called cortisol, and that is a stress hormone. So the pituitary sends a signal down to the adrenal when there's perceived stress, and that pituitary hormone is called ACTH. It hits the adrenal, and then the adrenal produces cortisol. Once cortisol is produced, that amount of cortisol that is produced reaches up to the pituitary and tells the pituitary to turn off to stop producing this circuit. And so now that ACTH can stop being activated. Now, it just so happens when you go through a period of stress called chronic stress, which could include loneliness, losses, or anything to raise your level of cortisol, like synthetic cortisol, prednisone, medications, etc. What's going to happen next is your body's going to develop this cortisol resistance, very similar to insulin resistance. And if you want to look this up, this is a real condition. Okay, it's called glucocorticoid receptor resistance. Now, what happens in this situation is because of the excess communication coming down from that pituitary, that could be a bit too dangerous. So your receptors kind of shut down and inhibit the absorption of uh, cortisol into the cells. And this is a protective mechanism. What's going to happen next is you're going to have a deficiency of cortisol. So the communication is being sent, but it's not being received. So it's kind of like talking to someone, but they're completely ignoring you. So what are you going to do? You're going to start shouting at them, right? Eventually, you're going to start talking louder. And that's exactly what the pituitary starts doing. It starts to increase its level of communication. Why? Because it's not getting through, okay? Your pituitary thinks that you have a cortisol deficiency. But in reality, it's just resistance in the receptor. It's definitely a deficiency, but it's because there's too much cortisol. So anytime you have too much ACTH, you're going to have a big spike in this other hormone called melanocyte stimulating hormone. And that's where you get the increase in melanin, which is that um, darkening of your skin. And very commonly, it can occur right underneath your eyes. Now, this is a problem because not only are you going to get this darkening underneath your eyes, but you're going to have all the other symptoms that come along with cortisol resistance. You see, cortisol helps you adapt to stress. Okay, put your body into a stress state to help you overcome a stressful situation. But now we have a situation that we have stress, but unfortunately, without the benefit of cortisol. So now you get more inflammation in the body, and that can happen on the skin as other problems. You're more susceptible to infection. Your immune system actually becomes very dysfunctional, et cetera, et cetera. So what could be done with this cortisol deficiency that's really causing this problem? Number one, you have to do something about your stress. You have to reduce it in any way, shape, or form. And I'm talking about the actual source of the stress, no matter what it is. And to flush out the stress, start increasing regular aerobic exercise, where you're actually not producing a lot of stress, but you're running or flushing out all this adrenaline and cortisol out of the system. Actually, if you do physical work outside, that is even better than exercise because it also relieves the mental component to stress because it shifts your attention 
to something else. Far too often when someone works out and they're on the treadmill, whatever, or at the gym, they're thinking about these stressful moments at the same time, unfortunately. So it's really sometimes hard to extract the attention on that stress situation. Okay, the next thing is sleep. Okay, get more sleep, take more naps, go to bed earlier, sleep in later. The next thing to do, and this is something that is a very important, vitamin D3. Okay, I would take probably 20 to 30,000 I use of vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 acts like cortisol in the body, but without the side effects. So it can give you some benefits of this cortisol immediately. Magnesium is probably one of the most important minerals to take. And then also limit the amount of screen time. You know, looking into the computer, that can really strain the eyes. And um, it's just unfortunately not very healthy, even though we all do it. The next thing is reduce insulin. Okay, you see this in diabetics. Diabetics have this condition where they have kind of this dark velvety skin in the folds of their body, sometimes around their neck, armpits. And what's happening is they have high levels of insulin Okay, and insulin resistance that is raising this melanocyte stimulating hormone. And this is a really easy one to correct if you understand what's happening. All you have to do is bring your carbs down to uh, 20 grams or less per day and then just not eat so frequently. Skip the snacks, skip breakfast, and just have two or even one meal a day. Okay, you combine that with lowering your stress. And you will see a lightening of these dark circles under your eye, which will then remain absent. I have a lot more to say on this topic. If you haven't seen this video on stress, you should check it out. I put it up right here. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books it's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore. Actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress, and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. 
That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.